Welcome to Columbia Conversations. Today, we have Dr. Anil, who is a consultant neurologist, Columbia Asia Hospitals, Hebal. Welcome, doctor. Hello, thank you. Hello, everyone. Today, doctor would be helping us to understand about stroke, its causes, prevention, and its treatment. So let's begin. Doctor, what is stroke and why does it occur? So any abrupt onset of neuro symptoms or neurological deficit is a stroke. Like for example, patient develops sudden onset weakness in a hand, sudden weakness in the leg, or weakness of both one side hand and leg, or deviation of angle of mouth to the one side, suddenly is not able to see, or suddenly starts, let's say abrupt onset of any neurological symptoms is a stroke. Okay, so why does it occur? Stroke occurs because of two reasons, two basic pathophysiological reasons. That is one, either there is an abrupt uh, cessation of blood supply to the brain. The blood supply is cut off to the brain immediately. Now abruptly the stroke occurs or if the blood vessel ruptures inside the brain and the blood flows on the brain, you have stroke. So two important causes. Either the blood supply is cut off immediately or the blood cell uh, vessel itself ruptures and the stroke occurs. Okay, doctor. Who are more prone to suffer the stroke? Yeah. Uh, what we call as people you know, at risk for developing a stroke. Generally, people who have uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, patients who have uncontrolled hypertension, blood pressure not controlled, patients who have high cholesterol, or pa patients who have a strong family history of strokes in their family, well, these are the patients who have high risk of developing a stroke compared to the general populations. So it's always advisable to for you to annually check your blood pressure, blood sugars, cholesterols and the general checkup. So what are the symptoms of stroke? Very important question, madam. Here people should know, so when uh, they are suffering from a stroke or they should know if anything happens in the family or in the neighborhood. So as I said, anything which occurs abruptly is stroke. For example, you know, suddenly you're not able to hold something. Suddenly you're not able to grip something. You're not able to button unbutton your shirt. So you're all fine and suddenly you're finding difficulty to walk. When you walk, you sway to one side. When you walk, you tend to fall to one side. Okay. Or suddenly you start seeing double. Like you see to the left, right, straight. And suddenly you start seeing that you see images as double. That's one of the symptoms of stroke. Acute severe headache, you are fine and suddenly there is intolerable headache, you know, it, that may be a symptom of a stroke. And you are not able to talk, you slur when you talk, you know, or you have difficulty in expressing yourself, okay. Suddenly you find that, you know, the person is not able to talk completely, he, he is, uh, pronunciation is not clear, suddenly it happens, that itself is. So these are all the symptoms. Some other symptoms which you have to know is if there's sudden deviation of angle of mouth to the one side, like you know, mouth deviates to one side, and, and when you drink something and there is uh, drooling at that side, these are all the symptoms of stroke. Summarizing in a simple thing, any sudden onset weakness, any sudden onset difficulty in walking, difficulty in seeing, uh, seeing intolerable headaches, please consider it as a stroke and rush immediately to the hospital where treatment for the stroke is available. Is stroke curable, doctor? Yes, 100%. See, it depends upon where is the stroke, how big is the stroke. The answer to your question, is it curable? Yes, 100% it's curable. We have hundreds of patients who are treated in our hospital who come walking now. You'll not even know whether the person has a stroke in the past. So it's definitely curable. Now, uh, as I told you, it depends upon where is the stroke in the brain. Okay, now we have big brain. We have the forebrain, the hindbrain, what we call the brainstem. Depends upon where is the stroke. What type of stroke is it? It's a small stroke, like a bigger stroke. Is the stroke because of, you know, the cessation of blood flow? That's a cut off blood flow or because the blood vessel ruptured? So it varies. The answer to is yes, it's curable. But what we call time is brain. It's very important to, you know, come to the hospital as soon as the symptom. The early you start the treatment, there will be complete recovery. Okay. As we all know, prevention is better than cure. So is stroke preventable? Yes, 100%. So as I told you, it's important to person who are at risk. Like if you are a diabetic, you know, please keep your sugars under control. Periodic checkup, take your medications regularly, follow the diet regularly, keep blood sugars under control. If you are hypertensive, make sure that you check your BP regularly, 
take your tablets, never allow the BP to shoot up suddenly, okay. Uh, exercise regularly, exercise regularly, you know, uh, it may be a brisk walk, a small jog, may, uh, maybe a session of yoga or a small workout, please keep yourself active, sedentary lifestyle, overweight, okay, uh, eating a lot of uh, junk foods, this lifestyle change is also very important, okay. So these are all the things which where we can target uh, the population to prevent occurring stroke. So what is the treatment for stroke doctor? Yeah, so uh, as I told you, stroke occurs because of two reasons. Either the blood supply is cut off because there is a clot inside the blood vessel or there is a thrombus. The second type of stroke where the blood vessel itself ruptures. So first very important thing is to find out what type of stroke is. For example, a patient comes with a weakness on one side, so we do a scan and first we find out whether the stroke is because of the uh, cut off of the blood, whether there is a clot inside the blood vessel or the blood vessel ruptured. So, the, once we know, then we start treatment. See, generally we see 80% of the cases, it's because of the, the blood vessel getting blocked because of a clot or a thrombus. Here, the earlier you come to the hospital, better is the treatment and you know, better is the recovery. You may recover completely. So, what we do, if there is a clot inside the vessel and you come within the what we call as golden period, like within 3 hours, as early as better. So we have medications now where we give and we can completely lyse the clot, like and we can break the clot giving the medication. It's a simple injection, we can give it through IV line, it goes and clots, I don't know, uh, breaks the clot and you can recover completely. If there's a bigger clot in a bigger vessel, what we can do, we can put, uh, like what we do an angiogram, so we can pet there and we can pull out the thrombus too, what we call as thrombectomy. Whereas the other thing where suddenly there's a rise in pressure and the blood vessel breaks, the blood accumulation in the brain, yes, the treatment is different. We, you know, admit immediately and start treatment to reduce the pressure within the brain to prevent the occurrence of seizures and also reduce the blood pressure very gradually. So, these are the options available. So, it, it's not like before the science has improved, the technology has improved. The same with the treatment of stroke has got tremendous change in the last decade. So, the, again, repeating time is brain. So, as soon as you have a symptom, rush to the hospital, where stroke service are available. At least there should be a CT scan in the health center where you go. Make sure you go to the hospital there, report your symptoms, get yourself treated. So the options summarizing again, yes. First, you know, we'll try to lyse the clot. If the clot is bigger, we're not able, we'll try to pull it out, you know, uh, to the angiographic uh, process. And then we reduce the pressure inside the brain and limit the damage to the brain. So, what are the new options or new treatments in stroke doctor? Yeah, so uh, prior uh, to the advent of the new uh, medication, what we used to do, we used to give medication for the clot to get bigger. You now, if, if, the, if the bleed or something, the stroke is bigger, we need to do a small surgery and reduce the pressure on the brain. Now, it's not like that. We have medications where we can, as we told you, we can just push the medication to the vein and it goes on lysis. Or we have a method what we call as thrombectomy where with the help of a stent retriever we can pull out it. We can take immediate to the cath lab, we can pull out the uh, thrombus inside. These are the newer methods what we call as neuro intervention. This also can, these are the new methods of treatment uh, in stroke. So can stroke reoccur? Yes, definitely. Uh, the person who had one stroke was a higher risk of developing another stroke. So post stroke management is also very, very important. So, as a patient comes, as I told, time is brain, so come early, we do the necessary treatment, patient recovers. The second very, very important step to see why the person had a stroke. Why did he have a stroke? What are the risk factors in him? And what are the chances of the stroke recurring? For example, the patient comes, he had a high blood sugar, so we need to target that, make sure that his blood sugar is controlled in the future, give appropriate medication, tell him lifestyle changes, you know, follow up periodically. Same as blood pressure if he's high. Why is blood pressure is high? If it's young patient, it's more important to now extensively elaborate and evaluate the patient. We need to see if there is the same way, whether there is a blockage in the heart too, if there are changes in the blood, the any variation in the vessels, we do all these things and we modify the risk. Yes, the chance of risk is there, but if you properly manage the post-stroke, like after the stroke, if you can modify the risk factors of the patient, the chance of recurrence is very less. So how is the life after stroke? Oh, so it, it's, it's as normal uh, like uh, an, uh, any other person in the society. As I told you, it depends upon what's the type of stroke, how big is the stroke, when did he present to the hospital, to the uh, stroke services, uh, what treatment was given to him, it, it all depends. 
and most of the patients with the small strokes go completely cured they will not have much deficits left okay and they will be back to their work immediately yes if the patient has a little bit bigger stroke came late the deficits may be there they, they, they may have weakness on one set which may say from take some sometimes few weeks to months to recover where the concept of rehabilitation neuro rehabilitation comes to the picture it's nothing but you know, giving appropriate therapy to the patient if the hand is weak you need to focus on that give a proper occupational therapy if the leg is weak focus what muscles are which uh, part of the leg is weak focus on that give a therapy to that and it starts working or he has a you know problem in the balance he tends to fall we give uh, something called as gait and balance therapy so this rehabilitation is very very important okay yes so once the patient is properly treated he can go back to his work can lead a normal life so it was a very informative conversation with dr anil dr anil would you like to add on something uh, if in case if there is a, if the person who has got the stroke if he's alone at home what can he do rush immediately to the hospital the answer to your question is don't waste any time i'm repeating again time is brain don't waste any time so uh, the symptoms which are listed any sudden onset deviation of your mouth to one side your mouth turns to one side okay you are slurring when you are talking you are not able to talk like before you are swaying while walking you tend to fall when you are walking you are not able to grip something your leg and hand suddenly goes numb and you are not able to walk when you walk you tend to fall or you suddenly you are seeing double you or you, suddenly one eye you are not able to see anything and intolerable headache don't waste any time rush to the hospital immediately one uh, this is the most important message now especially about the stroke treatment because we have a lot of stroke treatment uh, options available now so please rush immediately don't waste any time number 2 so prevention so any time prevention is better than cure so now we know what causes stroke what are the risk factors so uncontrolled diabetes mellitus or is blood sugar uncontrolled hypertension okay or any other risk factors that please follow regularly with your patient check your blood pressure cholesterol blood sugars periodically and treat accordingly lifestyle management is very very important keep yourself active if you are overweight please reduce weight now uh, you know act you know, engage yourself into activities for about half an hour a day half an hour jog or a brisk walk is good enough yoga for half an hour or at least 3 hours per week okay 3 hours per week if you can you know uh, give it to your uh, uh, physical activities you no know, either a brisk walk jog a light workout uh, yoga that will do it Thank you. Thank you doctor. It was wonderful having you with us. Thanks. Same here. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you everyone.